W-2 income, interest income, dividend income, capital gain income, Schedule C income. But all of those types of income, we're going to feed into this line item. Now, in our practice problem, we had one kind of income we've added thus far, that being the W-2 income. So let's, let's mirror what we would typically do if we were going to make this in Excel, putting another tab over here for that income line item. So I'm going to hit a plus button. And I'm going to say this is going to be the P, I'll say, for income. I'm going to make that tab blue, right-clicking on it, selecting. And if you don't have that blue right there, it's in the more colors, standard color wheel. I'm going to make it blue. That's the one I use. Just I've just gotten used to that. So you, you can use a different color if you want, but I like that color. So there it is. So we're going to say this. I'm just going to type in a, a generic worksheet W2 data input. I'm going to make that a header. Let's format this entire worksheet like we always do. I'm going to select the whole thing again, right-click, Format the cells, currency, negative numbers bracketed in red, no dollar sign, get rid of the decimals, OK, home tab, font group, borders, all right, holding down control, scrolling in, so we're zooming into it, and then I'm going to say, let's make these two my headers, so I'm going to go home tab, font group, border or black and white, I'll make A a little bit longer, putting my cursor between the A and the B, making that a bit longer so that people can type in the W-2 income, right? So this would be job one, 100,000, we're gonna say. Now they might have multiple W-2s. If they're married, they could have each worked like three jobs, right? So let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's just leave like that much for a W-2 and then say total uh, W-2 income income and so so i'm just going to sum this up then i'm going to say all right then the total w2 and let's put the total on the outside equals the sum of all of this okay and then i'm this is my data input range i like to make my data input like uh blue so i'm going to right click and say let's make this format the cells and make it uh well, let's do it this way home tab font group bucket blue and then home tab font group i'm going to put borders around it so now we've got that income has flown through and then i'm going to i'm just going to put my total income total income down here and there's only one thing in it i'm just going to sum up what's above it that 100,000. that's all we have in it thus far but we're going to have uh, more income line items like dividend, interest, and so on later. So this is a work in, in progress. The point is that I'm making a different tab that's going to pull into my parent tab over here. So this income line item, I'm going to say is equal to uh, 